Hi, this is Ben from Dream Rides of Tennessee, and today we're going to be talking about a quick pre trip inspection that you can do on your big twin Harley. All right, the first step that a lot of people miss in checking their oil is to make sure that the engine is up to full operating temperature. Um, really, anything up above 150 degrees is in that territory. 60 degrees, a couple of gratuitous revs. John runs this nice fueling vented oil dipstick. I brought the stock one out just so you can see. The main difference between a lot of these bikes is how you check the oil. Some bikes need to be upright, some bikes need to be on the side stand. In the case of these modern baggers, we happen to have a dipstick that tells you two different sections. One if you're measuring it full hot on the side stand and one if it's full hot vehicle upright. Obviously you screw it the whole way in, it gives you all the instructions. Take this out and wipe it and we'll show you what it is. What I've already had this dipstick out and wiped it off and put it back in again. A little bit low. You can see this fueling dipstick is labeled the same way. It has markings for the side stand and for upright on it. And it seems to look a little bit low. I know they run this engine around this oil level because it's a 131. If you fill it up a little bit too high with oil, you get a little bit of blow by. So, out the breather, I should say. So I'll talk to them to see if it needs any. I would not be surprised if it does not need any. So at this point, we're gonna move on to tires and brakes. Because there's not a lot of air in these tires, it doesn't take a lot of air loss to drastically change the tire pressure. So it's always a good idea to check your tire pressures we try to keep our tires around 40 psi front tire just below 40 probably 38 psi all right rear right around 41. all right just like the air capacity of a tire the fluid capacity of a braking system is not all that great so if you lose some the consequences can be drastic uh, in a short amount of time. A lot of modern bikes have a sight glass in the side of the reservoir. You can check the fluid level there. If the bike's been sitting for some amount of time, you do want to pop that top off and see what the quality of the fluid is. Um, before a long ride, you absolutely want to make sure that your pressures are up to snuff. You can actually check the pad thickness quite easily on a lot of bikes. We're going to do that in this one because there is a ton of friction material left. You see the pads on either side of the rotor. They are in good shape. Rear reservoir and actually that one has had a more recent look at because uh, they had some problems with the rear brake. So that's brand new. It's nice and tight. Even though this is a bagger and there's some more in the way, it's actually pretty easy to look up and see the friction material on either side of the rotor. Not that it's going to be super easy on camera to see, but this one has plenty of material on either side of the rotor there for the pad. So even though John likes to ride his bikes and get the most out of them, this one still has plenty of brakes left. Just a few tips on what to check. Definitely you want to check before you go out on a long ride. This is Ben from Dream Rides of Tennessee. Y'all have a fun time out there riding. Stay safe.